Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Whose Online Is It Anyway, where the accents are made up and the cucks don't matter. I'm Toxic Male, and come with him if you want to live, Terrence Pop. What's up, you dystopian dopes out there? <laughs> <laughs> Terrence Pop here! You missed an opportunity to call him dystopians. Huh? Yeah. It would have worked. But dystopians. maybe I'm just being punny. Yeah, you're being punny. Yeah, I'm being punny. It's all good. It's all good. Welcome to episode number 71 of Grunt Speak Live. That's uh, 69 with two fingers up your ass. <laughs> Not that I would know about that or anything. Oh! Hey, wait, come on, man. Stop it. <laughs> Got to get him while he's distracted. That's the key. Come on, stop it. Now. So I've already pissed off one of our super chats. Why? Dick Burns. Nine ninety nine to vote. Stop throwing stuff at Popster. I promise to donate every stream if you stop the nineteen ninety one joke with the straws. Release Pop the hostage, <laughs> or I'll send you my employer's merch, which means Facebook. <gasps> I don't know, man. Does he work for Facebook? That that, that is one hell of a threat. Yeah. I don't know. I, f I feel. I feel like I should throw another straw. No, no, no. Let's not do that. <laughs> uh. So you have a good day, Pop? Uh, well, I woke up this morning, and apparently I had a smoothie yesterday, and I had an allergic reaction. Oh. But typically, I am not allergic to anything except for, like, fruit that has a lot of uh, pesticides on it, so that's probably what it was. So you're allergic to bug killer? Uh, I have no idea what pesticides they spray on there, but it might... I, uh... I woke up and my face was swollen. So much for the, the special organic Smoothie King version. How much did that smoothie cost you? I, I made it at home. so. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I didn't buy it from Smoothie King. It was when I, we went to Smoothie King the one time. Like, I'm going to get a smoothie. And then, then you put all your stuff in it. It'll be $18, please. Like, what the fuck? It's one <laughs> smoothie. <laughs> it's, that's a lot of money. But, you know, inflation and all. Oh, I know. Yeah, thanks, Biden. Mm-hmm. I remember being a kid and, you know, hearing about the $5 shake in Pulp Fiction, you know? Yeah, you can't even I, get it. I don't know if it's worth $5, but it's pretty damn good. And my godfather's like, and my godfather's Jewish. He's like, there's no shake worth $5. <laughs> he hasn't had the Boston Cooler from Halo Burger up north. Oh, really? Get the uh, extra large Boston Cooler. It runs right around 5 bucks. What is in a Boston cooler? It is a vanilla shake with a hint of Werner's soda in it. Oh. And the Werner's totally changes the f the flavor architecture that you get. It, it is amazing. Huh. Amazing! I'll, I'll, I'll give it a shot sometime. You should. I've never been much for Werner's, and I know that no, makes well, me like an anti-Michigan no, no, guy. You just, it's like a regular vanilla shake, and then you just add. It's not a whole lot of Werner's. It's just a, a little, little bit. bit. Burn. I mean, and your kid will, your kid will love that shit. I'm good with that. I like that. There's a place not too far from you called Dairy Freeze. They mm -hmm. make phenomenal shakes, and I asked them to make for me a frozen yogurt shake with chocolate and peanut butter. It's like drinking a Reese's. <laughs> it's quite. Well, I'm not a big fan of Reese's peanut butter cups. I had a lot of bad memories. Oh, pray tell. I I think there's a story coming on. Yes. Yes. Is, uh, is this yeah. a time when you cram too many snacks into your mouth? Just like your ex-wife, allegedly. I was in the Cub Scouts, and they gave me a whole case of the four-pack Reese's Peanut. Oh, you ate too many, didn't you? I bought them all, and I went crazy. And I threw up for a day and a half, and I have, I have hated them ever. I cannot <laughs> stand them. I can't do it. Well, nothing quite kills your appetite for something quite like experiencing it in reverse. Tw for a day and a half. For a day and a half, for especially. For a day and a half. <laughs> I was about to go to the hospital. I was like, I don't know, it's been going on. Maybe he's a got while. a peanut allergy. Bill. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad day, man. It was a bad day. And we're gonna start off your bad day with a real weird one. This is an older story, but if you haven't heard this, oh, then Indonesian celebrity says that she accompanies her sons watching Orn Pay to teach them uh, spicy education. Uh, I'm going to be honest. Uh, that is like nightmare fuel. Uh, yeah. Oh, I can't do it. I got to turn my cell phone down. It's it's buzzing and bopping. Oh, God. Why didn't anybody tell me? <laughs> That's about it right there. I'm serious. That is 
I had a hard time when I was a kid. Like, very few times my mother actually took me to the movies because my mother was very hands-off, didn't really do shit with me uh, uh. other than tell me to man up and handle my business. I went to a couple movies, like maybe a half, like two of the six I saw with her in my childhood where they showed a booby or something. <laughs> and I was like, oh, God, my mom's like right there. Oh. I couldn't even imagine, like, watching, uh, you know, Orn pay and have your mother like chime in. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Oh, oh, what's going on? That's called doggy the nightmare style. fuel for days. Yeah, you know, it's like you're in your room and you're doing your business. You know, you got your flesh straw in your lap. She comes in. Well, that's not how your father and I did it. <laughs> Would you like a PB and J? Oh God! <laughs> Tell me you watched those dick beaters first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you, how old is that woman? This is the really crazy part. I would not kick her out of bed. I'm just going to say that right now. Uh-huh. She is 49. All right, I'm going to be honest. I'm not dealing with a 49 year old woman. I, I concur, I, but I for 49, I don't care. No, I think that might be Stacy's mom because she's got it going on. Okay, whatever. Just saying. Uh, Famous Indonesian singer Yuni Shara made a controversial revelation recently after she revealed in an interview that she has been accompanying her sons to watch Orn Pei videos as a guide to teach them bedroom antics. Yuni revealed the matter during a vlog video with another Indonesian celebrity. Uh, When when was this printed? Two months ago. Oh, it's not that old. I just, uh, and oh man, just look at this dude here. Uh, He's got to be what? 16, 17? Probably. Oh, God damn. I mean, yeah, she looks good for 49 and all, but nah. this is some twisted shit. This is twisted. Is the, And this is in India, right? Yes. So India is getting has the porn thing going on too, huh? No, Indonesia, not Indonesia. India. Indonesia. Okay. Sorry. Ugh. Well, they still have the porn thing going on in Indonesia. <laughs> Apparently so. And that's a Muslim country. So, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Anybody want to get stoned? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's legal over there. I guess it is. Yeah. I don't know. This shouldn't be legal, though. You should never, ever accompany your boys to watch some. Huh. No. No. It's like, oh my gosh, Lana spelled backwards. It's my favorite kind. I'll make the popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, my God. And then, of course, there's other kids. Yeah, your mom's pretty cool. You say that now. Yeah. You don't have to. Sometimes at night I can still hear the screams. (laughs) 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 Hell no. Wow. Oh. And that's uh, that's as good a time as any to go to your favorite graphic. Yeah. Yeah! Here we go. Parents outraged after black principal segregates students based on race. Okay, now, all right, didn't we have a whole bunch of marches? Mm -hmm. And there was a leader who was assassinated to kind of get over the whole segregation thing and basically bring everyone together. And now we have... yeah. The left wishing to reinstate segregation. Yes, because now, that is the most progressive thing you can do. Turn the clock back 60 years and undo everything people fought, suffered, and died for. Correct. But the, one of the reasons they want to do this is they want to start it over and continue to fight about it. Well, yeah, because when you can keep the fight going, you can grift and make money. What's that, buying large mansions? Yeah, four of them. Four of them in mostly white neighborhoods, Correct. even though whiteies are the devils. Yep. Yeah, because, I mean, that's what's going to happen. They're going to, you know, if they're successful, they're going to roll the clock back, and we're going to go right back to having to fight for, you know, reintegration. It, it is This is so goddamn yeah. stupid. And somehow they're going to try to blame this on the other guy, mm-hmm. just like they do all the time. Yep. And, and this is a prime example of uh, us forgetting our history. Yep. Because most of the, I can almost guarantee you, the young people participating in this, weren't taught that 
the shit they were supposed to be taught in high school. Amen to that. Well, let's see what this news report has to say here. Mm. Yes, the school district here has looked into these allegations and says it has taken action. Still, parent Kyla Posey says she can't believe a principal thought separating students according to race was a good idea. We've lost sleep trying to figure out, like, why would a person do this? Kyla Posey says she was stunned when she learned about classes segregated by race at Mary Lynn Elementary last year. I a practice I'd be like, what year is this? And condoned by Principal Sharon Briscoe. First, it was <laughs> oh, oh. just disbelief that I was having this conversation in 2020 with a person that looks just like me, a black woman. It's segregating classrooms. You cannot segregate classrooms. It's You can't do it. Posey says she found out the school was putting black students in two separate classes with two separate teachers. The white kids were placed in six classes with six different teachers. The parent says she found this out when she let Briscoe know she wanted her child placed in the classroom of a teacher she thought would be a good fit. Posey says the principal said that wouldn't work. She said that that's not one of the black classes. And I immediately said, what does that mean? Um, I was confused. That means she's fired. I asked for more clarification. I hope so. I hope I was like, so. We have those in the school? And she proceeded to say that, yes, I have decided that um, I'm going to place all of the black students in two classes. Posey says she insisted her child be placed in a class with white students. She says Briscoe explained her child would be wow. isolated. And I explained to her she shouldn't be isolated or punished because I'm unwilling to go along with your illegal and unethical practice. Wow. The Posey's oh. recording a call with... Oh! That's game, set, match oh, right there. Keep, uh, play, play the rest of it. Just... An assistant principal where they complained about the segregated classes. The administrator confirmed it was the principal's decision and seemed to offer an explanation why the classes were set up this way. She's a racist bitch. Correct. And she wants to raise generations of kids to be racist, too. That's right. why. That's exactly right. We have more black kids, too, and then, and then some of them are in a class because of the services that they need. Kyla Posey has filed this discrimination. Oh, is this like, you know, the blacks not having IDs, despite the fact they were also going to try to milk the public for sympathy for them being the majority of traffic deaths? Correct. And Just a, asking lot of, for a, a lot of these inner city school districts get a lot of money. Oh, yeah, they and do. And they can't seem to manage it. And, and it seems like the lower their test scores go, the more the subsidies kind of they go. They keep giving them more money. Yeah. Like Detroit, their <laughs> school district, their system was like in the top 10 in the country in the 60s. Yeah. My mother graduated from Cooley High School, which was phenomenally good back in the day. And then for a long time, the saying at Cooley High was, I graduate from Cooley High, and it's a miracle I do not die. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And now, now you could drive by Cooley High, and it's just a burned-out shell of itself. Wow. Mm. Uh, and, I, you know, I wonder. I wonder where they're getting this kind of racist rhetoric from. I wonder. Could it be from people like Joy Reid? Joy Reid and guests paint Republicans as terrorists who are starting to kill our kids. Wait. When the hell is this even happening? I'm just wondering the same thing. What kids are getting killed by Republicans? Uh, Get the hell out of here. The answer is none. I know. I love this. You know, there's a substantial portion of the gun-slinging conservative base that really doesn't support QAnon, even though, and I said this a year ago in this program, QAnon would take over the Republican ideology, and it has. What? What? Are you out of your mind? Now, what what, <laughs> what exactly is QAnon? QAnon, it, it, in all likelihood, is a far-left LARP. It, 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 they're trying to do what 4chan successfully gets idiot leftoids to do all the time, uh -huh. which is take false flags like the hashtag, you know, pee yourself movement, you know, uh -huh. and people actually went and did that in the free bleeding thing. Those were all LARPs. Mm. And they got the, and the left went along with it. Okay. QAnon right. looks to me like it was created by leftoids to try to do the same thing to the right. It did work because if you heard all that trust the process BS leading up to well, the you know the certification of the completely above board ice cream social. Correct, correct. I mean, I have actually forwarded some QAnon stuff on Facebook that I thought was fairly reasonable. Well, the, but not all of it. I mean, no, not all of it. But I, I didn't think it was an action. It's so stupid. No, this is just ugh. unbelievable. But of course, it's all about the coof. Which we can't talk about too much here. Not at this. We're just going to take this. We're going to take this 
at face value. Extremists okay. stepped out of the shadows under Trump. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. Well, fine. Let's talk about extremism. Let's do it. Now, people like Joy Reid want you to look at a source like this, and all they want you to take away from it is this bullet point. In North America, Western Europe, and Oceania, far-right attacks have increased by 250% since 2014. They're no higher at any time than they've been in the last 50 years, way. But you know what's missing? Actual numbers? Context. Context, yeah. Because if 50 years ago, <clears throat> you know, the far-right attacks were one, 250% more is two and a half. Or we'll rhymed up to three. Or, or three and a half, whatever. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. It's uh, n not really that big of a of a difference. Yeah, I know. And, and uh, I, listen, I have looked. Uh, I used to sit in when I was in the army with uh, the national uh, th was it national threat database. Oh yeah. We would, we would have basically a come to Jesus meeting every year or two years about it, and not one time was the white supreme pizza ever on that list that's because it's only responsible for less than a percent of worldwide terrorism we're going to get to that in a minute yeah <laughs> for north america this is the context that was missing okay western europe and oceania the threat of far-right <clears throat> political terrorism has been rising over the past five years in these regions far-right incidents increased by 250 percent there's that number again between 2014 and 2019 there were count them 89 deaths attributed to far-right terrorists in 2019. So basically, you have a better chance of getting struck by lightning after winning the lottery and fucking Anne Hathaway. But I would like to know <laughs> where they're getting that number 89. Oh, I'm sure that it's probably from the same cooked statistics that take far-left crimes and flip them to being far-right crimes. Yeah. I guarantee it. I guarantee it as well. So there, there's your context. And now we're going to go to the... There Comparison of the largest terrorist groups on the world data file. All right, this is the big kahuna here. Now, oh yeah, terrorist attacks by group 2013 to 2017. So a fairly comparable range of time. You just got less one year in there. The Islamic State alone, 5,665 attacks, 32,280 people killed. And I, I'm going to be honest, that number sounds light. Well, you, they have different <clears throat> sects within the Islamic State here, because you got Taliban listed in here, Maoists, uh, lots, of, lots of communism, lots of religious craziness. An additional 33,000 injured and almost 22,000 hostages. <laughs> well, one, those hostages one are usually, group. hostages are usually converted to yes. dead bodies. So even if you took 89 and multiplied that, over five years, you would have, I want to say it's 445 deaths total mm -hmm. from far-right extremisms in the U.S. over a period of five years. That is only 1% of what the Islamic State drop in did. The bucket. But it's not even that high. No. No, I'm sorry. I, I, Knowing what I know, I cannot believe at face value what they're putting out. Well, the, think of it this, too. This is deaths by terrorism from a single group over a course of four years. Mm-hmm. 50,000 people die in auto wrecks in the U.S. every year. Or more. Yeah. Well, no, it's been about about 20, it's been, been about 25,000 to 50,000 per year. It kind of oscillates, but usually it's around 25 or 30, if I remember so correctly. So it's in the, you know, if we're used to that number, it's in the acceptable death range. Yeah. Okay. Pretty much. I gotcha. It's quite ridiculous. But, you know, this, of course, this is about children, right? We got to think about the children. That's why Apple's spying on you now is because we got to think of the children. Wait. Planned Parenthood. There we go. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Go back to that other, that, that last one. Can you do that? Now, what is the, le the smallest one on there? Uh, the smallest one on here is Liwa al Haag from Syria with one attack and 40 dead. Now, if you actually go down this entire list, there is one key thing you're not going to find, and that is white supreme pizza. Yeah, that's. Uh, it looks like it's all Middle Eastern stuff. Yeah. The closest you're going to get is right here, which is anti-government extremists, which they do love to try and paint the far right as an anti-government extremist group okay. in the U.S. And this is between two countries, the U.S. and Chile. So this is the only place... Yes. Something is mentions United States. Yes. Three attacks, 59 dead. 
That's still a high number for three attacks. Over four years. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Over four years, yeah, okay. Yeah. But, now, you know, I, we're, we're the biggest terror threat in this country. It's white men, Donna Lamone says. Yeah, is there is there any other non-Islamic one in there? Uh, let's see here. So Iraq, Syria, Congo, Pakistan. So this is probably not Islam. This is Mai Mai Mazembe Militia. That's the Congo uh, Republic. Uh, Pakistan, Russia, mm-hmm. the Caucasus Emirate, whatever the hell. I, have, I don't know. Peace at Home Council in Turkey. That's aptly named. They <laughs> must vote Democrat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, popular Resistance Committees. That's Western Asia. Okay. Uh, Free Syrian Army, also Western Asia. Yeah. There's not really a whole lot going on in there. There's Abu Sayyaf in, the, the, the in Luhansk Malaysia People's, in the Philippines. Yeah, the Luhansk People's Republic from Ukraine, so there's another one. Yeah, they, they, But uh, you're talking about a drop in yeah. the bucket compared to this whole list. Wow. I mean, uh, terrible. That, that's big. So, but right. you know, sorry, sorry about that. That's no, right. We got to talk about the children, okay, right? Planned Parenthood. 354,871 abortions performed last year. I wonder if any of the money that went into them came from Joy Reid. And here's another thing they do not actually count every single abortion. Well, I'm sure they don't. There's probably a large percentage that just drop off the books. Yep. And I love how they say, well, only like it's only like a fraction of what we do. No, 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 no. Mm-mm. 96.9% of pregnant women who seek help at Planned Parenthood have abortions. Some yeah, might so call it... Go ahead. That's like seven, uh, seven and three quarters compared to eight. Of yeah. All their services are mailed, are, are basically baby termination. But that's only a little bit of what we do. Please uh-huh. give us Bullshit. money. Away. Bullshit. And then, of course, the world meter boop, 26,144,299 at the 300 and counting just this year. But I'm telling you that that doesn't take, that doesn't count like the morning after pill, plan B pill. You're probably right. Yeah, I know I'm right. Well, and, and there are natural ejections, you know. Yeah, I mean, but like eighty percent of the the eggs that get fertilized in a chick just get rinsed and flushed out of her body once a month during those yeah delightful five days she has. Well, I mean, just imagine like some chick goes to a wild ass party on a Saturday, comes to on Tuesday. Yeah, for whatever reason, doesn't know what happened. She walks down to the pharmacy, gets a Plan B pill. Yeah, everything starts over. And there, there's no pre- there's no pregnancy test, nothing. She just got the pill to make sure. Yeah, whatever happened. Doesn't... Just like in California women's prisons. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh, oh, something's different on Odyssey tonight. To the 68 people watching, it looks like you don't have to just tip library coin anymore. Hmm. There's actually a fiat currency tip station in there. <clears throat> All right. Holy crap. So there's another option for you guys who like to donate for the show. And as always, we're not worthy, but we appreciate every single one of them. Yeah, well, you know, shit ain't cheap and we need the money. Yep. <laughs> so uh, to the people out there who still have twatter, there's probably like five of you <laughs> because we got rid of ours. Uh, when we release the bit from this show, you could just send that little bit to Joy Reid and just completely demolish her. Have fun. Yeah, please do. I'm not saying harass her or anything. I'm just saying <clears throat> point out the fact that she's wronger than two boys fornificating in church with a drinking straw. Stop it. Uh, Uh, Hateful, vile bigots trying to call other people hateful, vile bigots. Now, listen. It it makes my penis. Everybody has got some, you know, prejudice in them. Everyone. Everyone. You're not going to get away from it. Even Mother Teresa, you know, she had her her issues from what I've been told. It is what it is. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, the lefty messiah from the World War II era. It looked like I'm drinking cheap wine. It was a fly. But uh, FDR, when when Biden actually said that Trump was our first racist president, I was like, can somebody send this motherfucker a book on FDR? <laughs> Please. <laughs> yeah, that dude is off the hook. <laughs> he was as racist as they come. Yep. Uh, yeah, I didn't see uh, Trump putting Asian people into internment camps or illegal immigrants or Mexicans. Yeah, Truman was—wasn't Truman his vice president? Uh, I believe so. 
Yeah, I believe he was a pretty good dude. Oh, it's just hilarious to me. Mm-hmm. Bastard. You shouldn't you bitches. You shouldn't you bitches. That's time for your second favorite graphic, just because you love looking at yourself. Oh, yeah, that's me. Oh, I hate that one. <laughs> Come on, man. Give me a little break here. I fucking hate that one, man. <laughs> I, I know make, you do. You're going to make me drink, you <laughs> son of a bitch. It's all good. It's mm. all good. Uh, following up on one of our favorite stories, I know that you love this story, Pop, so please feel free. Read it off for us. Arrest warrants issued for 52 fugitive Democrats after Texas Supreme Court slaps down Democratic judge. I all love right. this story. All right. Now, I would like to clarify this. These people being arrested are probably not going to be booked into the system. It's going to basically... Uh, them getting picked up and driven to the Capitol, which yeah. is absolute horseshit. They're going to get locked in their office and get told, do your job, no, and that's going to be their, their punishment. They need to be fingerprinted, they need to be booked, and they need to be in- entered into the criminal, the national criminal database. And then yeah. all of their pictures, their booking pictures, should be released yeah. by the governor to the world to see. Yeah, it's dereliction of duty. Yeah. He's well within his rights to do that, and he should. Yeah. How dare the people of Texas actually want their elections to be fair and have their votes counted? Yeah. How, how dare, dare you? How dare, dare, dare you? Just saying. How dare you? She did it better. Yeah. Just, just saying. This is quite redonkulous. That's why we have to talk about That's it. That's right. It's wrong. It's ridiculous. It's redonkulous. <laughs> and we're going to hammer it. But it gets even better. Nice, nice. <laughs> Runaway Texas Democrats sue Greg Abbott for causing anxiety, distress, and embarrassment. Uh, Listen, all right. If you are arrested and you do the perp walk, you have absolutely no legal basis to sue the cops for anxiety, depression, and, and embarrassment. No, this is, you want to talk about a temper tantrum. From a bunch of grown ass adults, this is it. I mean, the only time this is valid if it's a false arrest. Yeah, but in this case, you're talking about people who <laughs> dereliction of duty broke the 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 very mandates they're trying to push on everyone else by getting onto a plane with no masks and no social distancing, fleeing their constitutional and responsibilities, infecting, and infecting people within the inner circle oh, of the yeah. government. It was a whole super spreader it, event. It, they should be charred, charged on top of being dereliction of duty, yeah. but for causing a super spreader event. Uh, but no, it was only Trump rallies that caused that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and anti-lockdown well, protesters. Now, the nowadays, one. it's the people uh, who are going to for the big motorcycle rally that uh, are going to get hammered for that. But but nothing else. No, <laughs> not Obama's unmasked huge birthday party thing. Oh no, no, of course, no. There's there's no way that anyone would get sick at a 600 person gala because that was scaled down. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. All of us have, you know, thousand people come to our birthday parties. Oh, yeah. would be nice, but it's not going to happen. Uh, totally. No. We're not even going to get that many people at your fantastic moment party. No, no. I'll be lucky to get like 100 people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and of course, three of those Democrats flew, flew to the nation's capital, tested positive for the Yahoo, despite being poked. Poked? And, and they, they infected, like, one White House staffer and Nancy Pelosi's aide and a bunch of other people. That's so stupid. Oh, I, I mean, come on. I mean, what? The, this, I mean, they need to hammer these people and, and make an example out of them. Yeah. And in the end, you want to know the funniest part? Huh. They passed the bill anyway. <laughs> So okay. it was all for nothing, and they're going to get publicly shamed. Well, they need to be fired. Yes, they do. You need to be able to fire these people when they don't do their job. Yeah, impeach them. You shouldn't them. have to wait till the next election cycle. Exactly. Impeach them all. Yes. Dereliction of duty is an impeachable offense. It sure is. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. F off. The Texas Senate approved an election overhaul measure on August 12th after a Democrat senator ended a 15-hour filibuster. Oh, so the first thing that they did, we're gonna make, they got back was, we don't want it. Wait. 
All right. Well, the filibuster is a legitimate tool, and we they, they use it at state level and federal. Oh, the Democrats love the filibuster yeah, unless it stands in their way. Then it's bad and well, evil. They use, and... they use the filibuster to like tragic ends to actually stop uh, laws allowing black people to vote. Oh yeah, being passed. And they, they did they it for hundred years. Yeah, they they filibustered the Civil Rights Act for almost three months. Yeah, and then but at, by the time after the Civil War ended, until um, that the actual civil rights started, you know, coming coming to stage. Yeah, the Democrats filibustered and blocked all kinds of stuff. Oh yeah, that would have benefited the black community yep. or, or the minority community. Well, they were too busy passing the Jim Crow laws and the gun control, which was rooted strictly in racism and still is. And setting up the KKK. Yep. Mm -hmm. But, of course, when you go to their website, they will claim that they've been the party of civil rights and tolerance for the past 200 years. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I, we're all, and then somewhere in there, <laughs> there was this huge flip-flop where, oh, yeah. where the Republicans became all of the crazy racists, which is such bullshit. I love that. It's just like they actually... One of their favorite excuses is, well, the parties switched sides. Yeah, how the fuck does that even happen? I don't know. It doesn't happen. And what cracks me up is like, okay, well, you're saying that the Republicans are the party of the rich, right? But if you actually look at the donors to Democratic rep candidates versus Republicans, the Democrats have become the party of the rich. And they're the socialists. Yes. Yeah. Because all those people with all that money know exactly where to hide it, and it doesn't matter how big your corporate tax rate is. Yeah. Unless you're a small business, then the corporate tax rate is deliberately designed to keep you from becoming competitive with globalist multinationals. And I believe there was a WikiLeaks about all of the companies that actually had these huge offshore accounts. Yeah. So. Isn't it great, though? I like, believe it's called the Panama Papers. I think so. Yeah. But isn't it great? You got all these brainwashed leftoids running around thinking that they're fighting the man, right? Mm -hmm. But meanwhile, the man... Every big tech company, every multinational corporation, all the banks, all the people that they will put their dick beaters on a stack of Bibles and claim are responsible for all the evils in this country, and it's the end stages of capitalism, way. Yep. They're all spinning the same web and toting all the same bullshit. Yes, they are. Absolutely. Amazon wasn't, you know, saying F the blacks after George Floyd died. No, no, no. They're promoting. They got the black ribbon across the top there for Pride Month. It was all rainbow colored no matter where you signed in. You're not fighting the man. You are the establishment. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nothing funnier than a pink-haired troglodyte sitting in a Starbucks sipping unicorn cum out of a recycled styrofoam cup with a iPhone in one hand and a MacBook Air worth $2,000 in her lap with a bumper sticker on it that says, fuck capitalism. Well, and, you know, technically she's partially correct because those devices are made in China with slave wages. A little bit. Slave wages. A little bit. Slave wages, sorry. You are correct. And this is not end-stage capitalism. This is carpet bagging. If you don't know what that is, look it up. Well, end-stage <laughs> capitalism... It's going to, I mean, it probably will happen if we don't learn to. No, no what we have here is not end stage capitalism. No. This is cronyism. It's cronyism. This is fascism. This but is the government. End and, stage and, capitalism ends in cronyism. Yeah. They all do. Anywhere where you have concentrated power at the top, you're going to wind up with cronyism. Well, that's like socialism light. Like what, you're, what you have here, the crony system is set up because there's too much leftism and regulation. Capitalism is the opposite of yes, that. Yes, I know. Capitalism is free market, free competition. Yeah. And that's and, exactly what these people are trying yeah, to avoid. And if we ever want to actually bring back this country, we're going to have to dial back a lot of the regulations that keep people from doing stuff. Gee, I wonder what Trump was doing for the last yes. three years. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Could he have been, you know, taking a corporate tax rate that used to be the fourth highest in the world and then dialing it back to, to where we were, like, somewhere pack. in the middle, like yeah. around the 80-somethings? Yeah, yeah. And then people were actually allowed to get ahead, but then an artificial recession set in thanks to blue states and Democrats largely. In the EIU? In the EIU, terminating over 40% of small <laughs> businesses, most of which will never return. They will never return. Mm. In fact, I believe I'm, we're losing the Blarney Stone in Berkeley, which... Oh. A Irish pub that opened somewhere in the 
I think late sixties, early seventies. That good beer too. Well, you know, I I like to go there and you know get some onion rings and have some you know cheese sticks and chicken tenders and stuff and hang Damn. out. But they're gone now. Damn it. Uh, uh, you know what else is going to be gone soon? The uh, the installed government of Afghanistan. Thanks, Biden. Okay, now first of all, I know lots of people who served in Afghanistan. I know a lot of them who were part of the teams to help teach and restructure and get a standing army and police force, and they didn't take it serious. So this is what I have to say to Afghanistan. Fuck you. You had a two-decade head start. You didn't take, you didn't give a fuck about your country then. And now guess what? Now you're all going to get lined up and stoned to death, set on fire, thrown off buildings and beheaded, and you got no one to blame but your fucking self. Uh, Biden's a little bit of a problem, too, because we were supposed to pull out in May. Mm Mm-hmm. But, of course, because he didn't want Orange Man to get credit for brokering the deal at the 11th hour. I'm still not sure why he waited that long. Well, we're going to push it off until September 11th. Then it's my plan. But he never really intended to pull anybody out. He, his intention was <clears throat> to cause problems, destabilize the region further, and allow this exact thing to happen so that he could justify more airstrikes, more drones, and putting troops in there indefinitely. That's exactly why he did it. Well, we'll see if that, if that folds out. If it doesn't, all I got to say to the Afghan people is fuck off and die. <laughs> The Taliban right. is expected to take Kabul in less than 90 days. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, you got... Let them. It, it is what it is. Fuck them. They're, they're going to cut uh, the, the U.S.-trained military there off from the supply chains. They're going to starve them out, and then they're going to go in and mop up the leftovers. Well, I'm going to be honest. It, I mean, the, the U.S. troops will be long out of... Oh, it. not U.S. troops. The yeah. U.S.-trained army of Afghanis yeah, that but they're they, leaving behind. Listen, they don't give a fuck anyway. They literally blew it off. And now here we are with, hey, you got to stand on your own two feet. Oh, we can't. Fuck you. We spent enough money. Die in place. I, I got no mercy for those people. None. Banned. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I've Listen, I've literally talked to probably hundreds of guys who like... I had a company of these guys, uh, and I couldn't me. get them to do shit. Nobody took nothing serious. They'd show up high. They'd be a wall. They didn't give a fuck. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got nothing for you. You get what you get, and you don't throw a fit. That's right. Suck it. Suck it, Nick. And the Biden effect doesn't stop there. U.S. producer price inflation soars to 78 Eight in July, the highest jump on record. And this is going to continue to happen. This is, it's going to go on for a couple of years. We're going to wind up with astronomically high inflation. Yeah, th- this is Jimmy Carter levels. And but, yeah, and, he, and this is tanking his uh, approval rating. Oh think. yeah, even with their drastic push polling, where they're, they're like oversampling Democrats to the point where you've got polls that are twenty points outside of the median. He still lost 10 points of approval, and he's gained 10 points of disapproval. Yeah. And, and now, without the push polling, he, he would be at, like, you know, Bush, Bush levels post-Katrina. No, no, you, you just wait till gas is $5 a gallon for unleaded, and then you're going to see people flipping out. Yep. And then it's I Am Legend 2.0. Yep. What, what, especially because they're now talking about like genetically modifying mosquitoes and people are getting injected with kind of shit they don't even know what the fuck it does. We are on I Am Legend cusp territory here, ladies and germs. I know, I know. And here we have gas is up 41%. Yep. Yep. But that's totally not Biden's fault. He's our savior from the great orange man bad way. Yeah. Yeah, you can keep telling me that when it's $7 a gallon. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's some good shit right there. <laughs> what a bunch of bullshit. Oh man. But of course we can't let we can't let Biden Sr. have all the fun. Now here we go. All right, let let <laughs> Hunter Biden. 
lost his first laptop, and everyone said it was a false flag event. Oh, of course, yeah. But then, lo and behold, it wasn't. And there's a lot of people out there. I, I, the numbers are probably high as uh, 25% of the people who were polled said they wouldn't have voted for Biden if they knew that was true. Yep. And it looks like it is true times two because this is the second goddamn laptop yep. that that stupid fucker lost. The Russians Fuck have, that guy. <laughs> the Russians have videos of me doing crazy effing sex. Hunter Biden has seen an unearthed footage telling prostitute that Russian drug dealers stole another one of his laptops. What a goddamn <laughs> idiot. Video obtained by DailyMail.com shows Hunter with a hooker in 2019 after filming a uh, orn pay tape. Oh. And explaining how he believed his laptop was stolen. Not the one that he that he voluntarily took into a place for data recovery. Is that actually on OrnPay? I don't want to watch it if it is. Well, it, it, I mean, we're going to be going to New Tech later. So yeah, you, we can look we on New Tech anymore. later. We, we got to look. We I mean, got to uh, look. I mean, his niece does have nice feet. We can't show any of the footage. No. But we we can see what's what, what's there. Hey, when we get our own streaming server, it's game on. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do a whole stream proving how OrnPay proves that men aren't shallow. That'll be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> of course, that'll also mean a lot of people having to uh, deal with a lot of uh, strong stomachs, uh, bring some antacids, uh, some Tums, you know, whatever it is you guys yeah. like. I'll probably be vomiting along with you. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. yeah people have... actually whack off in this. Oh, my God. I don't have any stomach for that. I just don't have any stomach. <laughs> oh, scared porn. Oh, my <laughs> Hunter left the camera rolling as he recounted a Las Vegas bender in which he spent 18 days going around from penthouse to penthouse, not to be confused with the magazine. The incident would mean Hunter lost a total of three computers, each likely to hold sensitive information on President Big Guy. <laughs> The laptops contain wow. embarrassing photos, videos, communications from the president's son. So two out of three have Ooh. showed up so far. Yeah, I don't. Only even need know. one more, please, people, find it. I don't even. My know God, if we can show like the blurred out pictures. YouTube will probably have us on a platter. Yeah, we can, we probably can't show those. Yeah, we can show them later on New Tech. Yeah, though. yeah we can't show them now. Speaking of which, uh, well, not yet. But now we have to talk about this fucking guy. Ah, uh, yes. And, and then we can do some super chats. Yes. Or you want to do super chats first? We'll do we... super chats first. What do you okay. think? Yeah, let's do yeah. super chats first, and then we'll talk about the the brain dead idiot <laughs> who has totally <laughs> won off the reservation. I'll buddy your muffin. Donated five dollars. Got a rooster today. Named him Jack. Had to help Jack off the roof and help Jack off the shed. <laughs> Oh my God! It's almost dad humor, but it's but it's acceptable. I'll All go right. with that. It's fine. All right. Dick Burns. I already read that one. Thank you very much for the donation. But I mean, the straws are just too much fun, bro. If you want me to throw something different at him, you can send me some pink starburst. I don't do that. <laughs> I would unwrap them first. No. Because you know, I don't hit you in the mouth, and you'd be like, "Hey, what?" Uh, it tastes good. <laughs> Shut up. Stop it, man. Just stop. And then, you know, you'd be on the cusp of swallowing, and I would say cyst, and you'd be like, oh, ah, don't do that, man. Sorry. Jeff, I won the bound with a four ninety nine donation. Amazing how quickly Arnie Inner Austrian came out. If only he had a father figure that told him not to be a no, yeah, never mind. <laughs> no, he did have a father figure, I believe. I don't know. His, his, mother, his father was a cop. Oh, like in kindergarten cop? His, I think his father was a legitimate police officer, huh. and he grew uh -huh. up in a country that was, I, I dare say, communist. Uh, a little bit. So, I mean, what do if I If not know? right there on the cusp. He was close enough to uh, the countries that really were communist and probably had a lot of people that came over from there and said, hey, that shit sucks. <laughs> yeah. All right. You better get the hell out of Dodge and go to a country that's actually going to let you become a multimillionaire and run for governor of one of the biggest states of the union. Correct. Also, you can sell out and become a brain-dead, sackless, elitist piece of garbage. Yes, which is probably what happened. He's a fossil of a nostalgic era. I mean, how old era. is he now? He's in his 70s. Okay, he's in his 70s. He was a bodybuilder. He's probably suffering from a lot of the after effects of using all that steroids and what have you for years. Messing with his thinking meat, you think? 
Uh, you know, and I know I can't tell you how many people I've talked to who have got to a certain age and beyond who just go total fucking psycho. They lose grip on reality. Well, I hope to God I'm not one of those people. If I'm not, please shoot me. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, I mean, it's a good thing you lost all of your uh, your firearms in that tragic boating accident. Correct. Otherwise, if you lost your mind, yeah, yeah, yeah. wouldn't be pretty. Well, I mean, I would never like. No, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> you know, there are there are there's a list of people that you know. Uh, I'm just I'm you just being honest, man. You might pay him a visit. Whatever. Yeah, I mean, if I get to that that level, you know, you never know. It's good times. Crazy uncle. What the hell is this? She isn't bad looking, so I wonder if she wants to start her own Orn Pay. MILF videos are a thing after all. Yes, they are. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, those actually exist and they just haven't had Oh, no, them there's yet. all kinds of MILF porns. Oh, no, I'm talking about this chick specifically. Oh. Hmm. Somebody probably, now that people know who she is, it's been a couple of months. You know, we're just, we're, we're waiting for the leaked photos. I'm sure Anonymous is working on it. Okay. It's good times. Evil Zombie 2. I grew up in apartheid South Africa. Never thought I'd see it happen twice in my lifetime. Well. Damn. Damn. Well, apparently uh, you, you're going to get a, a trophy and a T-shirt. There's a glowing endorsement for Biden's 2024 run. Oh, wait. Yeah. Probably not going to happen. Nah. Yeah, by then it'll be all too obvious that he's been shitting himself and Jill's been wiping his ass with a wire brush. Yeah. In fact, she's just as culpable in his crimes. Quanta. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 796 people on YouTube. Holy wow. damn. That's a lot of people. Oh, thank you for tuning in. This is a backup channel. Yeah. Ding. Well, and it's gonna it's gonna keep growing, bro. It's gonna I keep growing. I hope so. Please hit the like button. Share the shit out of this stream, okay? Hell yeah. We need the help. And as always, you will be able to see the complete version of this stream along with all of the sources that we reference in a pinned comment after the stream is over. Correct. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Because apparently if you put sources in the description of your video now, YouTube will strike your video if they don't like your sources. Wee. That's absolutely correct. And then refuse to address your appeal because... Of things reasons? and reasons. Reasons. Things and reasons. Reasons and vagina, I'm sure. I'm sure that has something to do with it, it too. It probably does. Robbie Martin with $5 Canadian and a little, uh, a couple of little bubble guys giving each other high fives. All right. Crazy uncle again. I wonder if people will figure out that only two socialist systems can survive in capitalist systems, military and marriage. Once abused, you're all effed. <laughs> <laughs> and, and people are waking up the marriage thing and they're not playing anymore, yes, which I don't blame them. I don't blame them either. Sorry. J.L. with a $5 donation. Would you rather go munging with Hunter Biden or marry Lorena Bobbitt? Trick Dude. question. A simp out there has already become her second husband. What? Oh, my God. She cut a dude's wang off and somebody married her again? I know. No, I'm not doing that. And, I, I, I'm not playing this game. That's just nasty. And there was another one from around that same era, Amy Fisher. You know the one who, the, the, the Buttafuoco incident? She oh, yeah, shot yeah. his wife through the door. Mm -hmm. uh, she does Orn Pay now. Oh, good for or her. did very briefly. Mm -hmm. Good for her. It was disturbing. I didn't see it. I don't want to see it. I'm good. I mean, I suppose it's retribution that after all those years, we should finally see a lot of different ways that Amy Fisher finally gets shot in the face. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's so fucked up. <laughs> Dude, that's I'm sorry. Up, she needed it. I'm just saying. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Poetic justice. <laughs> All right, all right. Any more? Knock, knock. Who's there? Amy Fisher. Amy Fisher. Bang! <laughs> okay. Dustin Gray with a $5 Canadian. I don't think that it is likely Pop will remember you're on the 65 and out plan. Mm. That's true. Evil Zombie Toe. Arnie's father was a brown shirt. Ooh. Oh, that makes it even worse. <laughs> yeah, so he should know exactly what's going on. <laughs> yeah. He needs to be paying attention to his royalties because when people stop buying his stuff, he's going to be wearing the brown pants. Mm -hmm. Fuck you, Arnold. Uh, Polska Bob with a $25 donation on Streamlabs. Gentlemen, be your monies. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Jackal the Emperor with a dollar. Here's a joke. How do you describe the morning pee after plowing a Detroit hooker? I have no idea. Guns and roses. <laughs> Probably a lot of pain and guilt. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
Monet shot with a $10 donation. Apologies for however long the Cockco series lasts, but Tuesday was fun. New from Cockco. 12 by 1, 12 inch gay cruise p- big pink drinking straw, so everybody gets a taste. 100 pack, <sighs> only $69.69. Order yours today and spread the fun. <laughs> rat bastards come on come on now (laughs) come on now all right okay let's do do the the migtow chats if there is any let's check hang on boom oh there is awesome there's a few here mortified monkey with a ten dollar donation blake thank you for all your hard work to make this show happen Thank you. Oregon governor signed into law on the 11th that high school graduates are no longer required to read, write, or do math. Hillbillies and rednecks across the nation are celebrating Oregonians by law being the dumbest in the nation. I believe we covered this. Yes, we did. It was just (laughs) that woman needs to lose her job. Please recall her. JMV 59 with a $5 donation. King Dongs and Star Cysts for Pop. If you haven't heard it in the past 20 years, listen to Joe and the Deer. Should still be on YouTube. Find the uncensored version. Hmm. And Joe and the Deer. Are we talking about Joe Biden and the Deer? I bet we are. I don't know. A little bit of Venice and jerky. Mortified monkey again. If Republicans had infected the executive branch as Dems did when they fled Texas, the media would be screaming assassination attempt. Amen. That's absolutely correct. That's exactly what would happen. MGTOW K-Dubs with a $5 donation. I'd tell you a killer COVID joke, but chances are 99.98% of you won't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. Hello to all of the people. Uh, 143 of you over on DLive. Oh, and AWOL posting some nice Kate Upton cleavage. I approve of that very much. Mm-hmm. Uh, jumping over to Streamlabs. Oh, not Streamlabs, sorry. Odyssey, 95 currently watching. Uh, Antonio J. Balabanu. Guys, please get Coach Red Pill to join Odyssey and do a spot with Stephen Molyneux. Stephen Molyneux? I'd love to. Yeah, I don't know if he would actually talk to me. I uh, no. Because, uh, you know, he is a very high-level thinker, 30-pound brain guy. I'm just a grunt who swears a lot and, sit and, and basically speaks the truth. So, Well, I don't know. It can't, it can't hurt to ask, I guess. We asked Salty Cracker. We got shot down. But mm-hmm. we, we can ask. Uh, been banned. Made it live stream. Did you guys get my email about the CRT crap at a local school district? Gave you the link. Uh, that might have been what we put up today. It might have been. Uh, Caleb on. And the article being buried, if they have a D, if in the U.S., by their name, just saying. What? Uh, reverse the genders of mother and sons and watch the fake rage begin or this article being buried. Well, if they have a D, if in the U.S., by their name, just saying. Yeah, true enough. Pretty yeah, True enough. Well, the, the fact that she's a you know a stunning and brave woman of color too, they bury it just based on that. Yeah, and the only time they actually mention color is if they're white and they committed a crime. Yeah, yeah. When you've got uh, Asian ladies being thrown down the subway stairs in New York or dragged behind vehicles, things like that, and they die of brain damage in the subsequent surgery, uh, mysteriously, the race of the attacker never gets mentioned. Absolutely correct. Arnold Schwarzenegger to Americans against tyrannical COVID restrictions. Screw your freedom. If you don't believe that's what he said. But but I think people should know there is a virus here. It kills people. And the only way we prevent it is, is to get vaccinated, to wear masks, to do social distancing, washing your hands all the time, and not just to think about, well, my freedom is being kind of disturbed here. No, screw your freedom, because with freedom comes obligations and, uh, and and responsibilities. We cannot just say, I have the right to do X, Y, and Z. When you affect other people, that is when it gets serious. It's like no different than a traffic light. We put a traffic light at the intersection so someone doesn't kill go. someone else by accident. So this is why we have a traffic light. You cannot say, no one is going to tell me that I'm going to stop here, that I have to stop at this traffic light here. I'm going to go right through it. Yeah, then you kill someone else, and then it is you doing. So this is the same thing with the virus. You cannot go and not put a mask on because when you breathe, you can infect someone else, and you can infect someone that then gets sick and may die. Okay. All right. Um, all right. Now, first of all, we are going to address this. Yes, we are. When we go to the next section. 
Yes. Now, because... I know there's a lot of people out there. We have just broken your heart, <laughs> and, sh- and you've listened to a basically a icon of the 70s, 80s, and early 2000s. Yep. Tell the American people, screw your freedoms. Yep. Th- those are his words, not mine. Someone who claims to love this country mm-hmm. and owes everything that he has to it. Let's not forget that as well. But, unfortunately... We cannot even refute anything that he says without running afoul of YouTube's community guidelines. So if you check the live chat right now, you are going to see that I am posting links to other places where you can continue watching this stream. So uh, go refill your beverages. Pop is going to go empty his squirrel bladder. And we will be back shortly. (laughs) 